<laughs> Where did you get this photo? <laughs> no, really, where did you get this photo? The classic battle of good and evil throughout the galaxy and beyond. I love Star Wars because I grew up watching it with my dad and my, my siblings and I remember Carrie Fisher being one of my first crushes in that exact outfit that she is wearing. Doesn't get any better than that. Carrie Fisher. Oh, Carrie Fisher. Oh. I like the new movies too. I love me some Pokemon. You want to battle? Okay, where's your deck? Do you have your mat? Did you even come with dice? If you're not ready to compete, or at least do the online simulator game, I'm not really fucking with you. Also, I'm really into guys who play Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, Pokemon, and any other type of card game, or Settlers of Catan, any board games. I like nerdy men. If you play Pokemon, let me know. I remember that was my entire childhood. My brother and sister definitely made me try some really good cards for some really bad cards, and they took advantage of me. I had incredible, I had this holographic pincer that they finessed me for, never saw her again. I love all the original Pokemons from red, blue, uh, yellow, um, gold, silver, then silver, white, and pearl got a little crazy for me, and ruby, sapphire, I don't know what's going on. When I was in high school, I used to have a voicemail that was the Jigglypuff song. El Barto, big influence in my album, big influence in my, my personality. <laughs> Where did you get this photo? <laughs> Hajis is a Harlem staple on First Avenue. If you from Harlem, if you grew up in Franklin or the Nines or East River or Wilson or Jeff, any of them projects on the east side, you went to Haji's and got yourself a chopped cheese. My sister used to come home late at night when she was a teenager, reeking of the store, and it used to drive me fucking crazy. Comic-Con 2014. Homemade outfit. Did it myself. Killed it. Oh, don't even get me started on that fucking thing. London calling to the underground. I like a lot of things that came out of London. It influenced me, you know. I grew up with New York punk, but uh, UK punk was very beautiful, and I love British culture, and there's been a lot of beautiful musicians that are from here and based from here. My favorite one of them all, Freddie Mercury, who was not born in London, but grew up here and spent most of his life here. God saved the queen, that's why they call queen. And I love, I love Bowie, and he was from here. The greatest thing that ever happened to me in my life. It reminds me a lot of myself. I was an orphan that was not loved by the people I, was, I lived with, and I was made to do chores, and I was treated really poorly, and I was a very magical person with a lot of hope. I found myself with magic, the way Harry Potter does. But Harry Potter is like one of the greatest stories of all time, no matter what. Uh, family will almost prevail, kindness will almost prevail, all of the virtues of, you know, the houses of Gryffindor, Ravenclaw and, and Hufflepuff and all of the witches and wizards that believed in unity and equality throughout the witching world. It's an allegory for something much deeper and much more grand than we care to think. And, it's a, you know, it's an allegory for racism, it's an allegory for pure-bloodedness, it's an allegory for injustice, it's an allegory for um, good versus evil, and it's a great, 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 great book to teach a lot of things. And there's so, I read it every year, and I love it. I got the Legos. Oh my God, I spent like $1,000 in Legos this summer. It was crazy. Um, I didn't have a good time with it. I cosplay it a lot. A big old bag of fun. 